Go. Based on the popular film, The Italian Job Rally, we're celebrating its 30th anniversary in 2019, along with the 50th anniversary of the Michael Caine film and the 60th of the mini. So this year is a special one. We're starting on the 20th of October and going on until the 2nd of November, travelling approximately 3,000 miles in a classic mini. Um, going from the UK all around Italy and uh, eventually kind of finishing up in Turin on the roof of the old Fiat car factory that was used in the Italian job film. Along with all the other jobbers as they call themselves, Rich will be raising money for the charity Buttle UK, who he says do some excellent work across the United Kingdom. Well, it's all raising money for children's charities. So for the last couple of years, the Italian Job Rally has been raising money for Buttle UK. Um, they're quite a unique charity in that all the money that you raise goes directly to those young people and children that need it um, because all of their admin costs are funded by an endowment from their founder. All fundraisers will tour through different parts of Italy, including Rome and Tuscany, seeing some of the most iconic parts of the country. Rich has previous experience with the rally and will be completing his hat-trick in October. This will actually be the, the third time that I've done the rally, um, but it's something that I'm passionate about. I've been a big supporter of the Italian job for quite a while now. and. It's kind of also one of my favourite films. Um, the Italian Job film was one of the reasons why I wanted a classic mini in the first place. So to combine kind of raising money for such a good cause and such an amazing experience just seems like a no-brainer, really. The challenge is to raise money for the charity, but as the trip itself is so unique, Rich says it's something quite special. I think what's good about the Italian Job is that kind of actually doing the trip you get to see and do some amazing things so we've driven on the uh, Ferrari test track at Imola um, where Senna famously died um, we also get to do kind of the, the track at Monza as well which for any kind of motorsport enthusiast is a, just a cathedral of speed um, and then you get led around Turin by the Italian traffic police who then lead you up onto the roof uh, onto those banked corners that you, you'll remember from that 1969 film Rich and his co-driver are hoping to raise £1,500 for the charity and they have included some incentives for people to get donating. So if I raise £500 for the charity, I'm going to do the cold bucket of custard challenge. A bit like the ice bucket challenge but with custard, a bit more gungy. Um, if we get to £1,000, I'm going to shave my beard. I've grown quite attached to my beard, or shall I say it's grown attached to me. Um, so again, if I get to £1,000 for the charity, the beard is gone. We're going to do that on Facebook Live. And then if we get to £1,500, myself and my co-driver will do the entire Italian job rally dressed as Mario and Luigi. Rich and all the other fundraisers are set to take on the task in October, all for a good cause. Jack Deary, that's TV.